Hi everyone, I have um, another Steven Universe fan art and for those that are new to my channel, I am a huge Steven Universe fan. Absolutely massive Steven Universe fan. <laughs> you might have guessed it from some of my videos, um, just a little bit, and especially if you follow me on Twitter or Tumblr or Instagram <laughs> or Facebook. I just, it's my entire life at the moment. Um, and I haven't done Steven Universe fan art in a long time, so it's uh, it's nice to be inspired by it again. I just find the whole show very inspiring, and I can't help but just want to draw fan art from it because I feel so connected to it. Um, and I think that's how you should be with fan art. It's it's something a lot of people can connect with, and that's what I do. Um, and I had to draw Ruby and Sapphire from The Answer, which was the first Steven Bomb episode from this this week because it's not on hiatus anymore well I don't know if it's on hiatus now um but we've just had a Stephen Bomb which is five new episodes and it was excellent and the first episode was how Ruby and Sapphire met and it was just such a lovely episode and the colours and the backgrounds inspired me so much to draw this scene I just had to do it so I started off with as you can see in my sketchbook I did thumbnail sketches and then I traced the final drawing of Ruby and Sapphire onto my Langton 14 by 10 inch watercolour paper. And then here you can see that I used masking tape to mask off Ruby and Sapphire and used a craft knife to cut around like the hair and the bodies so that my watercolours wouldn't affect the uh, drawings. And as you know, I kind of had issues with getting vibrant colours out of my watercolours. I'm very, very unskilled with watercolours. And I kind of don't have the patience to build it up and build it up and build it up. And I was like, I just need vibrant colours and I want them now. And like, <laughs> I was just super impatient because I'm used to the Copics, which are like instant drying or digital art, which is just instant, you know? Like, okay, digital art takes a lot of effort as well, but the colours are instant and you can have them as vibrant or as dull or as pale as you want. Um, with a medium like watercolour I find that you have to have more patience and it's difficult for me to sort of do that um, when my whole art training has been digital. <laughs> uh, so I got out my inks and I'm using Diamine Bilberry and Diamine Marine and I mix them together to make that really nice blue that you see there. So one's turquoise, which is marine, and bilberry is that purple colour. And I just, I think I've found my favourite traditional media, and it's ink. I just, I love ink so much, and it was such a pleasure to use it. And I could get the vibrant colours I wanted instantly, or I could just add a bit of water, and it, it would go as diluted as I wanted, and I just found it more versatile. So I think I'm going to use inks. I have I have actually just um, received some more in the post and I'm so excited to use them. I've got five more inks and I think I'll just build up a little collection of them and use them from now on. Um, Watercolour is like, they're great, but I just, I don't think I have the skills or the patience to use them. Um, but I will still carry on using them obviously in the future. I use a bit of acrylic paint as well just to build up some of the background to give it a bit of a different texture and a different sort of look to the background um to show that it's, it's not a tree i suppose i don't know <laughs> yeah there's me adding some more color and the nice thing about the inks is that when they dry they, they they stay quite vibrant and they tend to once they're really really dry you they, they will become waterproof almost and they won't be affected by water so you can go over them again i don't oh wow this this piece took a long time <laughs> I think overall I've probably spent about five hours total. I'll have to I'll have to look it up. Um and it's taken so long to edit because the first time I started editing it, Premiere Pro crashed <laughs> and I had nothing. And then um my computer's just been slowly on the fritz, like just it's just going. It's it's dying. Goodbye computer. I loved you once. And it's just been such a struggle to get editing done and I, I feel like I'm going to have to upgrade my computer and it's uh, it's just a nightmare really but it's got to be done it's got to be done <laughs> so yes for the majority of this piece I actually used three ink colours um, 
which was the bilberry. The quartz black is the black that you see in the foreground there on the black trees. And then just marine and bilberry to mix the different shades of blue, which was really fun to do actually. Then I used Copic Sketch here after I peeled off the masking tape and I was really quite chuffed with the masking tape because I was bothered that it wasn't masking fluid and I don't, I don't own any masking fluid so I decided to um, just use masking tape and it worked quite well actually <laughs> and yeah I used Copic for the the sort of like mirrory shimmery puddles that you see in this scene and I just, I constantly had reference of the screenshots up um, to just keep looking at colours and being inspired by the colours in the scene, definitely studying it hard and trying to replicate the colours that you see, but obviously not copying straight, but like replicating them, I don't know. <laughs> the key with fan art is to make it your own thing and just be heavily inspired um, without copying really. So. And you can see R39 Garnet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I just get so excited about Steven Universe. It's stupid. Uh, I'd say I need a hobby, but I feel like it is my hobby. <laughs> so, I think the majority of the characters I did in Copic. And I really I just couldn't get the colour depth I wanted. I, it's difficult because I am mostly digital as I've said quite a few times. And I, I, I feel a little frustrated with the traditional art because I could get the colors I wanted so quickly with my understanding of digital art. I, I could do this in digital and it would have the color depth that I wanted. So I, I get very frustrated, but at the same time, it pushes me a little bit further to do a few more different things with color in traditional media. So it's good, it's a good thing. I really enjoyed doing Sapphire's skirt because I didn't do much colour depth on Ruby and I just thought, yeah, I'm going to do it on her skirt. <laughs> I guess I'll talk a little bit about um, Steven Universe and the Steven Bomb. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if anything I say is going to be spoilery, so apologies if you've not watched it yet, just, just go watch it. And... Oh, it was just excellent. I, I just, I couldn't get over how good it was. Like every night this week, I've been so excited and it's just been a great week for it. And I feel, I, I don't know, I just, oh my God, so much new information, so much background on the gems, so many new characters. Oh, wow. It, it was just a magical week and every part of it, I just, I was getting excited like every night. Um... I mean, when Stephen Baum started, I was like, yay, Stephen Universe. And then by the end of it, I was like crying because it was like, it's back. <laughs> I'm really sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, sorry if I sound a bit groggy. It is 1am and I'm very tired. This uh, video has taken so long to edit. <laughs> so many clips. I have um, 32 clips, I think, total. So it's a big video. And I've cut it down to 13 minutes. That's the most I could cut it down to. And yeah, so I really enjoyed doing the foreground here because it made the colours that I used with the Copics just pop quite well. Because um, I, I really wanted the pastel mirrory shades of the water, the reflective water, to like really stand out. And I feel like they did once I added the ink again. I just really like this ink. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear any background noise as well, by the way, it's um, Saturday night and it gets quite busy in my town on a Saturday night. <laughs> Everyone should be in bed, I should be in bed. <laughs> um, but if you haven't seen Steven Universe before, by the way, and you're kind of wondering what it's about, it's um, it's a story about a, a child who's like half alien fantasy gem thing, half human. And he's learning how to use his powers as a gem, a crystal gem, um, with the help of three of his deceased mother's ex co-workers, best friends, I don't know, t things, <laughs> I don't know, um, which are Garnet, uh, Amethyst and Pearl. And they help learn, uh, the, I mean, they're learning about Stephen as well. And 
there's just so many morals and nice things and um it's it's just a really really good show like I got into it and I was like well what's all this about uh, it's okay and then I watched a lot of it and I was just like this is the best thing ever <laughs> it's not Cora it's not Cora don't worry it's not replacing Cora <laughs> Oh, I just, I just get too in excited about TV shows. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just feel kind of, I just really, really, really enjoy the show. And it teaches a lot of really good stuff. And I'd be proud if my kids were watching and enjoying it now. Because they would be learning stuff that kids TV doesn't always teach. And it's, it's just a joy to watch. It really is. I know a lot of people don't like it or can't get into it. Um, it does take a long time to get into. I watched like episode, what, 60 something? Pff, gosh knows. Um, before I watched any of the others. And I was like, this is really weird and really creepy. And then I went back and the earlier episodes are really crap. Like, I, I don't really like the earlier episodes. <laughs> And it was like, how is this the same show? And it actually kept me watching. And by the end of like, I don't know, episode 25, I was like, this is it. I'm just so into this now. Um, and then I think I got caught up before a convention. And everyone at the convention was just like absolutely going nuts for it. And I realised there was all these fans and we could all get excited. And then I got into it more. And then all my friends got into it more. <laughs> so it's just, it just makes us all really excited. And I think that's a good thing something to get excited about you know instead of all the bad things happening in the world and you know I don't know where I'm going with this I don't want to get too philosoph but for philosophical <laughs> it's 1am <a> <laughs> I'm so tired <laughs> I stay very late to get these videos out for you guys so I really hope you like them <laughs> I really enjoyed adding the fireflies here um I, I like fireflies <laughs> and I think they added a, a dimension to it because there's large and small ones and I think it just helps break up the flatness of the image a bit. Then I copied those kind of weird mushrooms. Oh, you, you can notice that I have a few different outfits during the course of this um, <laughs> video as well because that's how long it took. I think I spread it over three days, three days of work. Yeah, I um, I just really enjoyed doing it and I got through so many traditional supplies and I... I enjoyed it because it's fun out of one of my favourite TV shows, including one of my favourite characters from one of my favourite TV shows, which is Ruby. I love her to bits. She's one of my favourites out of the whole show. And I just I just had so much fun with this. And I do have another two Steven Universe speed paints coming. <laughs> and they will be up hopefully very, very soon. So thank you all so, so much for watching. And uh, thanks for sticking with me throughout the whole video, if you're still here. And if you'd like a print, they're available on my online store now. And yeah, just um, leave a comment below. Do you know and watch Steven Universe? Do you like it? Um, who's your favourite gem? And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.